Hello and welcome back to my channel. I have a speed build for you today. And what I did for this speed build, I've been having a lot of fun playing around with some of the things in Eco Lifestyle. Obviously, I've been playing the Rag Stretches challenge in Evergreen Harbor, but then because I was enjoying some of that so much, what I wanted to do was play with some of the eco lifestyle gameplay a little bit more so i created a sim and just kind of made a really random challenge that i just kind of made up the rules for and so i've been playing in evergreen harbor and i've really been enjoying it and so i wanted to build something using just the base game and the eco lifestyle game pack and i also went out of my comfort zone to make something a little bit more modern. So this is a style that I'm not the most comfortable with. I used a floor plan from a floor plan website and I used, it was one that had like pictures and stuff of like the exterior to kind of give me an idea of how that was going to look. So that is what I did and I tried to mimic that floor plan and that style in this build. And for my first ever modern home, I'm pretty happy with how that happened to turn out. Like this isn't for any particular family or anything like that. It was just something that I decided to do to, you know, expand and work a little bit more on my creative my creative abilities, my building abilities. And I'm fairly pleased with how it happened to turn out. So I hope that you guys like it as well. I did not give myself a budget for this. I just kind of let myself build and use whatever objects I felt like using. Uh, because it is a modern home, I did go lighter on some of the clutter items. I have a hard time cluttering up builds just because I'm not like a super cluttery person. So yeah, so this is this is my attempt at that. Now, I also thought that I could kind of talk a little bit about what's been going on for me personally. So if you've followed my channel for a little bit, you know that we moved recently, which is why there's no face camera happening in my videos at the moment because first of all, when we moved, my desk was broken. I didn't have a very expensive or very nice desk in the first place, and I didn't really like it all that much anyway, so I was not too disappointed that it broke. I ended up getting another desk, but the way things are set up in the apartment that we moved into, there is just not a good way to set up the desk and the computer and use my lights and stuff to use my face camera. So I think for the time being, I probably will not have a camera, like a face camera going for my let's plays or for my speed builds. I apologize if that's something that you particularly liked, but it just isn't going to work with this current setup that I have. That being said, I hope that we are only in this place for six months. I was hoping to be able to purchase a home, but because of timing purposes, I wasn't able to, to do that. I just didn't have enough time to do all of the things required to purchase a home. Things have been very difficult and challenging with all of this. Um, one of the things that I, I haven't really talked about on this channel, um, but I'll, I'll touch on a little bit here, is that um, I had COVID back in July, the end of July of 2020, and I never really recovered from it. So as a result, I deal with very, very crippling fatigue and a shortness of breath. So sometimes you might hear when I'm talking, if I'm talking for a long time, I will start to run out of breath or I'm taking breaths more often. I know when I go back and I edit the audio of my Let's Plays, I'm editing out spaces where I'm stopping to breathe. So if things look choppy at times, that's probably why I'm running out of breath and I had a long breath 
in between like my words or my thoughts. So that's something that's happened. As a result, I've had to go on a disability because I wasn't able to do my job, which was very difficult. And so there's just been a lot of upheaval and changes that have happened in our lives in the last nine months or so. You know, there's a lot that's happened to a lot of people. So not just me, but for us in particular, there's been a lot of a lot of things that have happened. One of the other things that happened is we had to uh, euthanize our dog. He had developed a large mass on his chest that was constricting his airway. And we watched him and monitored him for quality of life as much as we could. But with the move coming, the vet and I decided that that would be too much stress on him. So before we started packing up everything, we had to euthanize our dog. And that really, really sucks. Um, If any of you have ever had to put a dog to sleep, it's just, it's horrible. And with COVID, I wasn't able to be there with him. And so it was just, it's been, it's been a very difficult last couple of months, especially with moving and finding a place to live and all of that. It's just, it hasn't been very easy. And so making these videos and building in The Sims have been things that have really been helping me from like a mental standpoint to just kind of escape a little bit of what's going on in the world around me and, you know, relax and kind of deal with my own stress and anxiety surrounding everything that's been going on. So that's why I started doing this in the first place. I think that's why building has been something that I've enjoyed more than I ever expected to because it's just I can go in and I can build something and I'm not spending a lot of time thinking about other things. So I know I am not an excellent builder or probably even a good builder, but it's something that I've been enjoying and I definitely feel like I am improving at it and using floor plans of real houses has actually helped quite a bit as I try to figure out how to build and how I want to lay houses out and things like that. Decorating, still not my strong suit, but that's also not my strong suit in real life either, so I guess it's not surprising that I struggle with it in The Sims. So going back to the build, you're seeing now I am starting to go back and decorate, uh, adding some skill objects in. Uh, I did use the fabricated furniture from um, show objects in the, the buy mode. In buy mode, and I was able to use some of that to decorate the house and to use the the bedding and the the sofa that I used, as well as the end table. But I sized the end table down because. They were all like too big and just looked wonky. Uh, Same thing with this dresser that's a fabricated dresser that I'm trying to put some decorations inside of it. And I like the aesthetic of some of the fabricated stuff. Some of it I'm not super crazy about, but I really like the couch. I really like the beds. The dresser, I could take it or leave it, but I wanted to use that in this build because as I said, I was trying to use primarily eco lifestyle and base game stuff so it just fit too with the aesthetic of the house and trying to keep it with that modern feel. I also used artwork and wall decorations that I've never used like that I don't know what you would call those squares that I put on the wall in the bedroom here. That's a really interesting sculpture to put on the wall. I used just some horizontal like wooden slats in the hallway uh, that you will have seen. I used a lot of the plants from Eco Lifestyle. There are some nice plants. I wish there was more because it's Eco Lifestyle. So I wish there was more of that, but but there's not. I also used the toilet and the sink from Eco Lifestyle, which I don't think I've ever used before. They're kind of weird looking in my opinion. They don't look like sinks or toilets that I'm used to seeing, but I thought since that's the whole point of this build that I would go ahead and use them. 
They did not have a shower for, there wasn't an eco lifestyle shower, but there was a tub. But I wanted the shower as well because bathing, oh, it takes them so long to take a bath. So I just used a base game, the base game shower tub combination in there. I did not go crazy decorating the bathrooms, basically just, you know, some stuff on the sink and some bath mats and some mirrors to put on the wall. Um, this is a three bedroom house, so I kind of envisioned like, uh, you know, a parent and their two kids, um, or two parents and, and two kids, or, you know, it could even be, you know, a, a parent and their kids and like a grandparent or something like that to that effect. Um, but the two rooms, the, the room I'm working on right now with the, the black and the blue, I thought of that sim being a little bit more techy and so, and a little bit more in line with the modern feel. So I used one of the fabricated desks and desk chairs and I put a computer in here and just used, again, some of the artwork that, or not artwork, but wall hangings that were a little bit different and that I don't normally use in my game, uh, like that geometric patterned one on the wall there, which actually I thought was kind of, kind of cool. And it worked well in this room. And I put in a cork board. Now this room, I envisioned the person being maybe a little bit more artistic. They're wanting to have a little bit more in their room. So I put these easel, I put the easel in there. And then I put those canvas things from debug in there that I actually really liked in this room. And so, and then I put some more colorful things on the wall for their artwork. Um, like this mural I sized down and I put it on the wall because I thought it added a nice pop of color. And then I put these flower hanging things on the wall because I thought that it just, it fit with what I was kind of trying to go for. And I wanted to put, you know, a plant in here as well because again, it's the eco lifestyle, the plant concept works. So I did that, added that to this room as well. And um, yeah, so I'm really pleased with how it turned out. I, I think that it looks, it looks okay. Uh, and I did go off of the pictures for what the outside looked like. So the back patio is pretty sparse. Um, but in the picture from the build that I used, there was really not much happening in the back. There was no landscaping at all. There was just like this concrete, poured concrete patio with a couple of chairs and a grill. And so that's what I did and that's how I left the back. I did landscape in the front a little bit more. Um, they had just kind of these dirt of like planters in the front of their house. So I used those with just some bushes. I used these round bushes and then um, a couple of trees. And then I went for a little bit more of like a tropical-y kind of feel along the side and a couple of these spiky plants to add to the, the landscaping and a couple of the trees. And yeah, that's about it for, for the build. So I will stop talking now and let you take a look at the screenshots. Oh, one thing I do want to say before we go into that. Um, I did play test it, everything works, and I changed the angle of the roof a little bit and added some solar panels to the roof, which you won't see in the screenshots. So I want to thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you liked this video, please give us a thumbs up and hit subscribe, and I will talk to you again soon.